Maybe some of your friends remember, but the Holy Lublina, according to our tradition, the way we know it, since the destruction of the temple, there was there was no place, one place in the world was so many holy people concentrated. Mamish, everybody says, since the destruction of the temple, there was no place with such a holy chaver together like in Lublin. You know, after the holy Lublina passed away, they asked the Rabshitzer, why didn't you bring Mashiach? I mean, there was so many thousands of people together. If you didn't bring the Mashiach, who could? He says, you want to know the truth? It was so high, you didn't really miss the Mashiach so much. Because Lublin was like in the Holy Temple. I'll tell you one thing, you know, just to give you a little little idea. In Lublin, you know, in, in former good days, the rabbis, the holy masses, would wear completely white on Shabbos. But Mamish, white streimel, everything white, white, everything white, white shoes, everything. That means you are Mamish on the level of a rabbi. So in, in, uh, in Lublin, there were 2,000 people wearing white on Shabbos. That means they were absolutely clear. You know, that means your neshama was mamish, because if God forbid your soul was not completely white and clear, Lublina would say, listen, brother, next Shabbos you better wear a little black, you know? You're not on the level yet. In Lublin, you couldn't fool around Lublina, you know? And maybe he wouldn't say it in words, but he would just you know, let you know. So there were 2,000 people clear. Then, according to our tradition, the way we know, there were 3,000 people who were also clear on the level of white garments for Shabbos, but they were hiding it. And then there were thousands of people, just holy people, Yidlach. So, say the night when it came, the Holy Lublina would say, This is the revelation of God. Then he would say it and he put the talus of his face. And Mamish, you know, Really, like everybody killed over from their chairs, you know, literally. <laughs> the mamish knew there was one God. If you ask me, you know, on 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 a on a again on a deep level. can say so. You know, all the great revelations till the six million were always on the level of revealing to us the holiness of God, the greatness of God, what He can do. The Second World War, something new began. Like Gathas, I'm not going to do anything. I'd like to reveal to you what Israel can do, who they are. I'm standing there. It's just Israel and the world. Don't mingle in. Look the world, who they are. Look who my children are. Look who you are. I don't have to tell your friends, you know, what was going on in Auschwitz on a Friday night. There were Yidin who were singing Yitzchuk and Machos Hashem People were dancing in Auschwitz Friday night. Do you know there were, there were people who, who kept Pesach in Auschwitz? They had nothing to eat. Maybe they had one old potato and they were living from it. I tell you something, you won't believe it. there was one Yidale in Auschwitz who's still alive in Brooklyn, above the Chosset. His brother would absolutely not eat anything, even the food in Auschwitz, what they were giving them, until he put on film. Do you know where this puts, I mean, where are we? And, uh, you know, I don't have to tell you the last, you know, at the end of the war, if you remember, 
they were just walking people to death, you know, they took about 10,000 people walking them and maybe 200 survived. Miraculously, he, he it's written down already in Israel now in, in this book, but he writes that he and his brother miraculously survived this walk. They came to a place, and you know there's 200 survived where I just... Anyway, so they gave them something warm to drink, some hot water, stale hot water, was hot water. His brother says, I can't drink teleportant food. And he says he was begging his brother, he was so weak he, could, he couldn't even move anyway. Begging his brother, please, drink some hot water. He says, you know, I'm here in Auschwitz for years, I kept it up, don't make me break it today. And he says, with 200 people, and he didn't know there's any pair of film left or anything. Anyway, even you know, Six Day War was a revelation of Israel. But again, you know, we have to be completely aware. Who, right now, before Mashiach is coming, God wants to show us. And again, you know, the opposition doesn't let us show. And the opposition doesn't have to 